everyone and welcome to my channel where I share with you my top tips on how to look good, feel good, and smell good from the inside out. In today's video, we are going to be doing a favorites video. I want to go ahead and share with you guys a few things that I have been loving recently. I have some fragrance, I have some makeup, and also skincare, body care type items as well. So of course, let me know down below what you guys have been loving recently. I would love to hear from you guys as well in the comments. And of course, if you like this type of content, go ahead and give me a thumbs up and of course, subscribe to my channel for more. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Alrighty, so jumping right into it, the first thing I want to mention to you is actually going to be the earrings that I'm wearing currently. I got these from Pretty Little Thing a while ago. I'm not really sure if they still have them. If they do, I will make sure to leave links down in the uh, description box below. But I love hoops. The only issue that I have though is I feel like earrings in general or just jewelry in general definitely irritate me a lot, a lot quicker than probably others especially if it's not real gold and then also the biggest issue that i have typically with hoops is depending on the size of them they get really heavy and they just irritate me they just get on my nerves and even though these are pretty a uh, pretty big hoop and it's kind of like a double hoop in one hopefully you guys can see that it's a flatter um like it's flatter around the I don't know edges or whatever I'll probably put like a close-up of it so you guys can see exactly what it looks like but it doesn't feel overly heavy to me and so these are some that I can wear all the time and because of the fact that it's a double hoop I feel like it just adds a little bit more flair to the actual hoop itself and also makes it a bit more elegant and a little bit more classy than just the traditional like big hoops so I don't know, I just really love this and I love it with my hair up, I love it with my hair like this where it needs to get done but it's big and out and feels like, I feel like Diana Ross right now. <laughs> um, but I really, really love these hoops and they were inexpensive obviously because they're not real and I got them from Pretty Little Thing. Like I mentioned, I'll leave links for everything down below. So that's going to be the first favorite. Now the next product I want to mention to you is going to be body care and this is this big old body wash. <laughs> this is the what 33.8 fluid ounce bottle and i got this from tj maxx for 8.99 this is by the brand giovanni and this is the invigorating body wash uh the tea tree i guess version this thing is so huge that's number one which is a why it's a favorite of mine two it's tea tree and i love tea tree i feel like i've mentioned tea tree oil to you guys millions of times before on my channel and I love the way that it actually feels. I think it's tea tree and like eucalyptus. Yes, it's tea tree and eucalyptus in it. So it's a very kind of like, like it says, invigorating body wash. It smells very like a very much like a spa when you're taking a shower. It's not like a warm, you know, spa like that warm spa smell, but it's more of like a refreshing. Um, I don't know, like a very refreshing but still earthy type of natural scent to it. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. But the reason that I love this is because I'm, I've noticed with myself that when it comes to body wash specifically as well, I prefer something that's more of a gel consistency versus the cream consistency like the Dove body washes, Olay, things like that. Even though I still love those, I just realized that for me to feel like clean and refreshed i like the gel formula and this is a gel body wash a little bit of this goes a long way so the pump literally you just pump one time and it lathers up really nicely and i just really like it i feel very fresh very clean when i um wash my body with this and i think because of the fact that it has the tea tree oil and the eucalyptus oil as well in it it still doesn't dry out my skin. My still my skin still feels hydrated even after I've used this to wash my body. And so it doesn't feel like super dry where I'm like, oh my goodness, I need to hurry up and moisturize. There's kind of like a little bit of a, I don't know, like a hydration from like the oil that your body still feels, but it's not overly like oily, if that makes sense. So you still do have to go in with a moisturizer. But when I do go in with a moisturizer, I find that because my skin is not dehydrated i don't have to use as much as much moisturizer as i would have if it was a drying body wash hopefully that makes sense and you guys follow along with me when i said that but i love it i love it i love it this big bottle like i mentioned is gonna last me a good minute 
and it's been lasting a good minute as well because I do um, double cleanse and this is my second cleanser. Um, but yeah, so it's going to last a very long time and it's $8.99 for this big bottle. So definitely check out your TJ Maxx. If I can find it online for around the same price, I'll link it down below. But if not, girl, go to TJ Maxx and try to see if you can find it. Okay. So again, that's going to be Giovanni's cleanse body wash. So yes, love that. Um, since we're talking about smelling good with this one, let's go ahead and talk about the fragrances. The first one I want to mention is going to be by Diptyque, and this is Eau Rose. This is the Eau de Toilette um, formulation, and I love this. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is basically smells like, it smells, ooh, it's pretty much like a floral scent with powdery undertones. Obviously it's rose, and so you guys know that I would probably love it because rose is pretty much my favorite uh, fragrance notes, my favorite floral at least. Um, so yeah, so I love it for that, but it's it, there's something about it that smells like a steamy shower and warm skin and freshly, like fresh flowers almost. Like it's like a steamy shower and you have like fresh flowers in the sh not in the shower but like in the bathroom where it's like i don't know i don't know how else to describe it but it's like it's very natural smelling to me it's a very realistic rose in my personal opinion i feel like they did an incredible job with this i love this so much it's one of those scents that i feel like should be kind of like thrown in your toiletry bag it's an everyday year-round fragrance extremely versatile and it's just a really pretty scent i really really love this scent so that's o rose by diptyque the next scent that i have also been obsessively wearing <laughs> is one that i've mentioned many times on my channel as well and this is going to be mont guerlain <sighs> i feel like you guys have probably heard me talking about this many times before and also just everybody in the fragrance community talking about this many times before and it's for good reason because this is so beautiful, you guys. Like, it's an aromatic lavender vanilla scent. It's a perfect blend of lavender and vanilla notes, but it's, I don't know, how can I describe this? It's mature, it's elegant, it's classy, it's, it's definitely one that I feel like, I don't know if this, this is not one that I would wear to like my wedding. I feel like this almost smells like the mother of the bride to me. A very elegant, classy woman, um, confident woman, but it's not one that I find to be like sexy, so to speak. It's not one that I find to be sultry or seductive. There's something very classy and classic about this fragrance, in my personal opinion. I feel like this would be like the mother of the bride. You can wear this to your wedding as well, obviously, if you'd like the blend of those um, notes together. But for me personally, the way that I perceive it, this smells like something that I can see my mom wearing. I don't know what it is, but there's something very just elegant and classy and just beautiful about this scent. It's beautifully blended. There's nothing really harsh to me about this scent. I have other fragrances on me, so let me air this out. Yeah, it's so beautiful, you guys. Like there's a little bit, I, I do find that there's a little bit um, of like, a soapiness, like a slight soapiness in the background. But it, I think that that soapy element makes it to where it doesn't get too cloying because it, it is quite a sweet fragrance in my opinion. But there is a little bit of like a slight soapiness that's in the background somewhere. But it's basically a very aromatic scent um, it is one that will take over a room, in my opinion. It's not one that I overspray because I don't feel like I have to because it lasts on my skin for a very long time. And because of how aromatic it is, I feel like if you overdo it, it might choke you and other people out. It's just a beautiful fragrance, honestly. 
But yeah, so that's going to be um, Mo Guerlain by Guerlain. And then the last two items I want to mention to you are makeup items. And it is a foundation and a concealer. So the foundation I'm mentioning is the Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay in Place Makeup. This is honestly, every time I go to another foundation and then I come back to this, I'm like, why do I keep leaving her behind? Or like, because I feel like a lot of times, especially back in the day, a lot of people would try to find like a good drugstore alternative to their high-end foundations and that's what i basically kept doing and i do have a lot of really great drugstore foundations that i love but there's just something about this that every time i wear it i feel just beautiful in it and so i'm like why do i keep not wearing it so this one i picked it back up recently and i have honestly been wearing it non-stop I'm not someone that wears makeup all the time anyways, and so when I do decide to wear makeup, this is kind of like a go-to that I know I'm going to look good, I'm going to feel good in it, it's going to last on my skin, it's gonna look glowy and just like beautiful, and so I just love it. I know that they came out with more shades. I'm not really sure of how many more shades, but I do wanna go foundation shopping, and so I know that I wanna check out the more shades to see if I find one that's a little bit more neutral. This one is more warm. Um, is this warm or neutral? It says five and two, so I'm assuming this might be neutral, but there's something about it that feels a little bit too warm to me, like just a tiny bit. So maybe it just might be the shade that might be a little bit off, but I wanna to try to see if I can find one that's a little bit more of a closer match without me having to kind of like manipulate it but if not this shade works well for me and i will definitely continue to repurchase it so this has definitely been a favorite and then the last item is a concealer and this is the kosas huh what's the name of this it's the kosas concealer i'm not really sure i see that this is number zero eight but i don't know what the full name of this is i will make sure to leave links like i mentioned down in the description box but I love this concealer. I recently um, went into Sephora and I was looking for concealers because when it comes to makeup in general, one thing that I have the most of are concealers because my, I guess, insecurity, you can say, <laughs> has always been the dark circles under my eyes. And so I'm always testing out different concealers. And so I saw this one and I think the person that I saw talking about this on YouTube is... Casey, Casey Alea, I think. I'll make sure to leave her channel linked down below as well. And she just kept raving about it and her skin is just gorgeous. But when I saw that, I was like, okay, let me just try it. So I decided to pick one up and I love it. I love how rich and creamy it is. It's one of those as well that a little bit of this goes a long way. It doesn't like dry down very quickly. So it gives you time to actually like blend it into your skin it blends beautifully it works with a lot of my foundations and other products it doesn't feel cakey on the under the eyes it's more of like a medium to full coverage buildable coverage as well and i just love the way that it feels and the way that it looks in photos as well as videos and as i mentioned it's extremely long lasting and a little bit of this goes a long way so if you're looking for a new concealer the only thing that i will say is that this shade is more of like a more brightening type shade for me. Um, I don't have a specific shade that I would say is like one that I can use for like spot concealing because I haven't found one that's like exact match. I feel like if I did find one that is an exact match because of the formula, I feel like I would definitely pick it up because of the way that it works and the way that it feels on the skin. But that's the only kind of like downfall I would say. But besides that, the formula, as I mentioned, is great. And I just really love the way that it feels under the eyes. I've had this on, this makeup on for a long time. And I just, I don't even feel it. I don't feel anything on my face, which is what I love the most about actually these two. And I feel like a lot of people can attest to this, that even though I like makeup, I don't like to feel like I have makeup on my face at all. Like I hate that feeling. And when I would use these, whether it be separate or together, I never feel like I have on a bunch of makeup on my skin. So 
love 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 these and yeah so that's going to be pretty much my last two favorites i wanted to mention to you guys for this past month definitely let me know down below what you've been enjoying recently as stated i will make sure to leave links for everything as well for you guys in case you guys are interested in purchasing them and yeah thank you guys so much again for tuning into another video i hope you guys are staying safe of course if you like this type of content go ahead and give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel for more Again, I hope you guys are staying safe and taking care of yourselves. God willing, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.